Good evening. Welcome back to the kitchen again. I'm so glad y'all just keep popping in here to visit. I'm going to uh, share with y'all a good recipe today. I say that every time, don't I? Well, do I look like I don't eat good recipes? We're going to have potato soup today, and it's easy to make. You start with four cups of chicken broth, and I'm using the organic chicken stock from Kirk, uh, Costco, the Kirkland's brand. And you get that to boil it on the stove, and then you add 30 ounce package of hash browns. And you want the regular string looking hash browns. You don't want those that's in chunks. So I'm going to get my hash browns into my boiling broth. And then when they uh, kind of melt, uh, kind of thaw a little bit, and it's all good and hot, then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients in the order given, and I'll tell you as I do it. Now, I used to make potato soup where I had to bake the potatoes, mash some of them, cube some of them, and that's still a good recipe. But this makes it so easy. And it's just as good, really. Now, I am browning off some bacon because I didn't have any already done to garnish the top with. And y'all can do that. Uh, it's your choice if you want bacon in croutons or bacon in some shredded cheese, whatever you want on the top. Now, when this broth comes back up to a boil, we're going to add in a can of cream of chicken soup, two cups of grated cheddar cheese, and I didn't have cheddar, so mine is Kobe Jack, if you notice the color don't look just right. Uh, we're going to add a teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of dried oregano, and salt and pepper to taste. I put a half a teaspoon of salt and just a bunch of cranks of black pepper. Y'all know how I like my black pepper. So we're going to get these items in there when it comes back up to a boil. And then when the cheese melts and that's all blended, we will add in half a cup of sour cream and a half a cup of cream cheese and stir that until it blends. So I'm going to get the, I'm going to get my bacon out of the skillet and let it be draining. And let the broth come back up to a boil, and I'll be back and show y'all what's going on here in just a minute. Okay, you can see that it's boiling. So I'm going to add my cream of chicken soup. Now my cream of chicken soup is the one with herbs in it. That's what I had on the shelf. You can add what it, just a plain one will be fine. That's what it called for. And here's my seasonings, my onion powder, oregano, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna dump in my cheese, and I just grated it, but it kinda sticks together. So I'll have to separate that little fellers and let them swim alone. Like a bunch of fire ants in a the flood. They just want to stick together. Okay, as soon as that melts, then we're going to add in the cream cheese and the sour cream and just let it simmer for a little bit. These tools, like this one, I don't know if you can see how pretty the wood is. This is olive wood, and these are some of my favorite tools to work with in the kitchen, the wood. Um, I season it and take care of it just like I do my butcher block. I put mineral oil or booze block, which is the brand of my thing, uh, my butcher block. They make a special cream or whatever for it, but I... Uh, I don't let it get all dried out. I, I season, and even my ones that aren't the olive wood, if your wooden spoons and all start looking white and dry, get you some mineral oil and oil them and give it time to soak in, rub them down real good. Then you can rinse them off and um, they'll last a whole lot longer. They won't become so brittle and all. Okay. 
Okay, I'm adding in the cream cheese. Let's see if I can break it up. And I'll put in my sour cream. We'll just let this simmer down and cook for about 15 minutes or so. I'm just going to let it simmer and then I'll bring you back and I'll get some in a bowl and I'll show you just how pretty it looks and then I'll see if it tastes as good as it is pretty, but I know it will. See, this is fast and easy. If you get a norther come whipping through and you want some soup, or today it just looks like it ought to be cold outside at my house. It's cloudy and dreary. So soup sounded good. And this is going to be eaten with some of the leftover broccoli cornbread that I showed y'all. I think yesterday or the day before. It's good. Put it in the refrigerator and it'll keep there four or five days. Doesn't ever last that long, but it will keep. Okay, my cream cheese is about melted, so I'm going to just let this simmer, and we'll be back with a bowl of soup here in just a little bit. Okay, the soup has um, cooked and everything has married together. The flavors are awesome, and I'm going to show you all the bowl that I've dished up. Okay, here's the bowl that I dished up, and I just put some green onion blades, cheese, and crisp bacon on top. And we're fixing to have some, I warmed it up, some of the broccoli cornbread. And we're going to sit down and have soup for well, some. This is a quick, easy, delicious soup that you can make in just nothing flat. If you just have your ingredients on hand, in 20 minutes, 30 minutes max, you've got a good, hot, nourishing meal for your family or just for yourself. Now, Troy and I are fixing to sit down and enjoy some soup and broccoli cornbread. And um, I don't know what he's going to drink, but I guarantee you I'm going to have a glass of sweet tea with mine. So I hope y'all will put this in your recipe file and try the recipe. I'm going to be sharing several of the uh, soup recipes that I make. And um, y'all will have them for the cold weather that's coming up. Hope y'all have a good supper tonight at your house. Spend some time with your family. Don't forget to thank the good Lord for all of his blessings and provisions and protection. And y'all come right back here tomorrow and I'll have another good recipe for you. The good Lord bless you.